Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to show how we can find out how many VDA machines or how many virtual desktops are getting registered with controllers. So in any production environment or in, in any Citrix environment, you would be having at least two controllers. Okay, at least two delivery controllers or desktop delivery controllers. So these desktop delivery controllers would be communicating with the VDA machines, okay, to, with the virtual desktops and these virtual desktops will communicate with delivery controllers and the status has to be in registered state okay the status has to be in registered state otherwise if the machines are in unregistered state then users will not be able to launch those virtual desktops a simple way to find out whether the machines are getting registered equally or not with the controllers is by clicking on this controllers option on the left hand side so once you open Citrix studio you have controllers here just click on it so once you click on it, you see the number of controllers in your Citrix environment here. Okay, in my test environment or in my lab environment, I have two controllers. One is uh, controller.vdilab.com and the other one is controller2.vdilab.com. So there are two machines that got registered with both of my controllers. So one machine got registered with controller, the primary controller and the other machine got registered with my secondary controller. It means that the load balancing is happening properly here. Okay. It means that the load balancing is happening properly. So in the production environments, you will be having hundreds of machines, hundreds of VDA machines. So you need to come here just to have a quick glance to find out whether the, you know, the machines are getting registered equally with the delivery controllers or not all you need to do is you need to click on controllers and if you find like 500 machines got registered with the primary controller but you find but you find only 350 machines got registered with controller 2.vdlab.com then you need to investigate why this is causing some kind of why it is causing these kind of issues okay so it is always good to come here and check the uh, machines whether they are getting registered equally or not with the delivery controllers okay so in my lab environment everything is looking good because i have two machines and they got registered equally to both of the controllers so yeah in the production environments you always need to you know have a quick glance to you know troubleshoot these kind of features if the if it is not getting registered properly if the number is not equal then you need to log into the controllers and you need to check the services you have to make sure whether the services are in a running state or not okay you have to make sure the broker service and, and all other citrix related services are you know in running state or not and you need to check event viewer and check the logs and find out why the sessions are not getting registered with the why the machines are not getting registered with the problematic delivery controller why less number of machines got registered with the secondary controller so these are some things that you can check in the uh, production environment to you know to be really proactive and solve these kind of issues okay i hope you find this information helpful thank you for watching i will catch you in the next video bye bye